All right, today, what do we got growing in Bubba's basement today? We got giant pumpkin plants. We have them now, they've been in like two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks since the seeds were started and we're under 500 watt HPS, T5s, which is 430 watt T5s and 730 watt LEDs. Let's do a comparison. Where are we at after two and a half weeks of sticking the seed in the pot? All right. All right, please join us for today's review of Grow Lights. Which one will go in Bubba's Pumpkin Patch? Okay, this is the uh, 500 to 1000 watt HPS old HPS sodium this is too much water they're too wet so what I've done here I know that just from looking at it they're looking okay not great here you got it's a badass ballast with a dimmer switch set at 500 watts but I can adjust it up had this for a long time it was given to me by advanced nutrients along with the melon heads I think they sent me four of these at one time and I've gotten rid of three of them but what I've done here is I've just sliced the bag open. I took some scissors, sliced the bag open. I'm gonna let it breathe better. The problem with these plastic bags, they hold too much moisture. <clears throat> and that can be a problem if you overwater. But if you don't get them, keep the moisture in there, it's kind of a difficult thing to find the happy medium. So I've sliced both of these open. We're gonna let them dry out. But hey, let's go over here and check out the T5s. Same age plants, T5s which only use 430 watts checking the wattage we're at 432 watts i believe it is uh 432 so less power but the plants look nicer they don't look as burnt not as harsh now there's no dimmer on this but it's just a straightforward and i haven't sliced these bags but maybe they're not, you can, I can feel the moisture. I can feel there's moisture in there. But they're looking pretty happy. So, will this be the light I use? Maybe. Maybe, 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 baby. What do you think, Albus? All right. We'll see what Albus has to say. Here's some of the products I'll be using, the Azos. I'll be using a lot more of that this year. CalCarb photosynthesis all right let's check out the uh the LED products here's some of the products that i'm trying for the first time ever i think like ashley ormsby said this is going to put me to the top of the pile with everybody else i've never used these before we're going to get the microbes going in the soil this year for the first time i know there's already microbes in your soil but who knows what your level is the mineral max these are new products we're going to try so so join us we're gonna see what the results will be this year with the micro mana. I've already used some of these in the products. I did a light lacing in the pots of these just a few days ago. We're gonna get that stuff all cooking in these in these plants and see what the effect is. All right, join us. Can we pull off another first place? And now the 730 watt LEDs. Let's start out keeping it clear. Okay. If you compare this to your lights, tell me what wattage your lights are we need to compare apple for apple i'm at 730 watts we're like in just under 50 percent so i'm going to compare this to a 330 watt light now the height on this okay here's here's 12 inches if we mark it here 12 24 we're like 20 inches 20 inches <clears throat> okay tell me am i too close at 20 inches I just move these plants around. I got this plant setting a little lower. These are some older plants that have been in here, got dry. We got this little plant down here, it's much lower. So we got all plants at different levels. And I'm gonna see these LEDs really got me stymied. I'm having a hard time with them. I had them up higher, I brought them back down. And uh, you know, they're okay, I guess. I guess that's comparable to the other plants out there. So it is comparable. But if this is going to go out in the garden, if I'm going to move this light out in the garden, I have to get this thing mastered. 
Otherwise, it may just run with the T5 lights. So looking for your input. What is your experience with you guys using, you know, 730 waters, 1,000 waters versus the 330? I know Travis uses 330 watt LED. I probably should have ran with that. I thought the extra power would give me a bigger footprint if I could raise this up. My thinking was raise this up to like three or four feet above the plants, crank it to a thousand watts, and may maybe they would do okay at that level. I don't know what is everybody else's experience. I know these pumpkin plants need a lot less power than marijuana plants. All right. So give me your feedback. I'm going to make this a short video. These are three weeks now. Okay, we started this. The seminar was March 9th in Michigan. The seeds were just popping up through the soil then. In fact, they cracked the soil after Chris left. So actually, these plants are only really two weeks old, not three weeks. They're two weeks old. Um, some of these in the back, those are much older, of course. Those are over a month old, those ugly ones in the back. So looking at these... A little over two weeks, the 9th, today's the 24th, yeah, two, two weeks, two weeks in the bag, kind of like old Uncle Bob, two weeks in the bag. All right, leave your comments, which ones will end up in Bubba's pumpkin patch in April? If you'd like to use the Rocky Mountain Bio Ag products, I'd like you to go to Travis's, Travis's Pumpkins, he also has a new website worldrecordpumpkins.com worldrecords.com check that website out and buy the products travis has links on there to buy the products from him i am going to credit him for turning me on to the product and i want him to get any revenue um we'll see how i do with it maybe next year maybe i'll take the link at that time once i've used the product and see what it'll do in my patch and i got big Big visions of what it's going to do for me. All right. Thank you, Travis. Thank you very much. Have a great summer. I hope you catch a walleye a half pound smaller than mine. All right. Talk to you soon.